Yo guys, I took back the Exodus speedrun world record and the story is pretty crazy. I was doing a 12 hour stream to celebrate that I reached 3000 subs and then suddenly the 9 tailed fox said this in chat. The Cortex in the final fight is filled by cash the aliens give. This also means that crit kills matter. This piece of information is game changing for the speedrun. In the final battle in Exodus you have to charge the Cortex by killing aliens. The faster you kill the aliens, the faster the speedrun will be. I always thought the Cortex was filled based on the amount of HP an alien had. The bigger the aliens charge it more than the smaller aliens. But the Nighthold folks looked in the code of the game and found out it's based on money the aliens give. Bigger aliens also give more money, so I was doing something right, but I'd never considered critical kills. If you get an alien hitting its weak spot, you get a critical kill, which also gives 50% extra money. This means that if we would be able to crit kill every alien, the Cortex would fill 50% faster than normal which is absolutely insane. Unfortunately, getting a crit kill is pretty hard. Hunters and Rhinos in particular have a very small crit area, so getting a critical kill on every alien would be unrealistic. But that's where snipers come into play. Most snipers are pretty bad, so the developers thought it would be nice to give them a buff. They introduced the T-Upgrade Sniper Deadeye, which makes it so snipers always get critical hits and earn more cash. This is absolutely perfect for the speedrun. On Exodus the only sniper is the VKS, but luckily this is by far the best sniper in the game, since it's semi-auto and not bold action. So with this information, I immediately started the speedrun during my 12 hour stream, and I managed to get this run. I started off with upgrading my pistol for the speed boost, and I immediately run towards the first door. To beat Exodus, you have to open 3 doors towards the 3 different areas, and then in each area you have to activate 2 generators. When all 6 generators are online, I can start the final fight, which takes place in spawn. Because the 6 generators and 3 doors have a set time, getting to the final fight always takes 22 minutes and 30 seconds. The final fight on the other hand is where all the time can be saved. So while opening the doors and activating the generators, I'm constantly preparing for the final fight, so I can do it as fast as possible. I get an EA2 from the crate with extend max, which is very good for the VKS I will buy later. I then buy the chainsaw, because with the chainsaw in your hand, you have the highest chance of finding an arc attachment. I made a whole video about that topic if you're interested. It immediately pays off because a few searches later I found an arc attachment. This is a huge damage boost of 35% and also a 50% range boost. The extend max and the arc attachments are the only attachments that can be equipped on the VKS, so now it's time to buy it. This bad boy is gonna crush the final fight. I also craft a bunch of stuff that I will use in the final fight. This includes one set of annex nades. Two sets of venom nades that I place in this location and this location, because this is where the ancestors will spawn. A set of sticky flares, the NX1 disruptor wonder weapon, and a tester trap that I'm gonna save for the final fight. While I was crafting and activating the generators in the middle area, something absolutely insane happened. I think it's best if I just show the stream. A hundred dollar dono to go on a blind date with him. What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> He's joking. Don't donate. So technically, it's 30 viewers. What the fuck? So the destroyer just donated 100 euros. Q. Q, you stupid fuck, man. <laughs> yes! Yes! This is a story, man. The destroyer is a legend! I can't go on this the This guy is a legend! <laughs> it's like 100 dono, 100 dollar dono for date. I did 100 dollar dono. <laughs> Let's go! You got me this guy is a man. legend! That was absolutely insane. Definitely the highlight of the 12 hour stream. I'm a very small YouTuber and in the past 3 months I didn't even make $100 and the destroyer just dropped it in an instant. I really can't thank you enough destroyer. You made the speedrun even more special. If I'm ever in America I will make sure to meet up. But now let's get back to the speedrun. The only area that's left is the office, which is the hardest area out of all of them. But that's exactly why I saved it for last. During the activation of the final generator, I'm gonna stop making any kills. In the meantime, the aliens will continue to spawn until they reach the spawn gap. In this bunch of aliens, there's also two phantoms, which are worth $500 each, which is quite a lot. I make sure the generator is safe, and then I leave towards spawn, where the final fight will take place. I'm still not killing anything and I keep running circles because all these aliens are worth a lot of cash. When it's almost time, I throw a flare so I can start the final battle without dying, and now it's time to kill. Oh, I need to reload. 
Oh yeah, this is definitely working, uh, the Nitros folks. Look at that bar already. We get Pong Gate as well, which is the best gate. So uh, we have a real shot at this. We throw the destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> so can you hear me? I hope they can hear uh, me. Well. If, if you speak in the mic. Yeah, when you then... scream, it filters. Because when I was screaming, it filters. Yeah, yeah. The, it, it literally goes over the sound cap it can handle. Um, did you already read the messages from the destroyer? Uh, not, not yet. I'm, oh. I'm trying my best to. It says, guys, follow the follow my epic tutorial. Step one, click on the donation button. Step two, move the slider up to $100. Step three, put in your credit card information. Step four, click confirm. Easy tutorial, Every, everybody can do it. By the way, try creating the ancestor. Yeah, it doesn't matter, you always get some fun with the ancestor. It's only been one minute and the Cortex is already filled by a quarter. The VKS is working really well. I left the Ancestor alive by the way, because he spawns Hunters that are also worth some cash. I will kill the Ancestor later because he's also worth 3500 cash, but for now he may live. I got Fungate Ancestor by the way, which is really nice, because he goes paired with Rhinos, which also offer a lot of cash. At some point, the game really wants to spawn two Rhinos on the map, so I'm gonna spawn up them like crazy. Oh, 15 bullets for a kill. That's perfect. I'm just gonna not miss any bullets. Oh, that's so perfect. Holy shit. That couldn't be more perfect. Got a few crits there, so he went down faster. That's so good, guys. Holy shit. Look at that bar going. Should have tried it earlier. This is amazing. This kills it way faster than the chainsaw ever could. Lost Rhino right there. Okay, nice. Now we kill the ancestor real quick. God, I didn't grab it in the other spot. Oh, by the way, we got left gate, which is what the fuck? It's already charged. It was so fast! Wow, that's a... Holy shit, we are 28 minutes run! <laughs> the Fiki has its bonkers! Holy shit! That was world record by 30 seconds, which is a lot of time. In a normal game, the final fight takes like 10 to 12 minutes, depending on your speed. I just did it in less than 6. This run can definitely be more optimized, by the way. This was literally my first attempt with the VKS. If I just went to the Medusa when I killed the Ancestor for example, I would have already saved 10 seconds. So I'm very curious to see who will break my record first. Big shout out again to the Ninetailed Fox for data mining the Cortex charge info. And thanks again Destroyer for being a legend. Make sure to comment something and I will pin it so everybody can see it. If you want to see that video by the way about searching for arc attachments, it should show up now. And you can also find it in the description. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.